with them it was so great you got yourself invited along you kept whining about doing chores and you didn't know how to drive the camper oh. jumping gee willikers you children didn't drive off in that camper all by yourselves did you mistletoe drove us and he got us lost in the middle of the night in a I'll storm let... now 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 calm down my dear why not tell us the story right from the beginning Mistletoe, I do not want to have to ask you again. Go and tidy up your room right now. But it's Periwinkle's turn to do it. Hmm. Oh, why do I always have to do the chores in this house? Oh, huh? my. How quickly you forget. Yesterday, Violet raked the garden by herself, and Dandelion was kind enough to do the dishes for you. That's right, I did. There are three broken dishes to prove it. Aunt Zinnia, they have to learn. I've been doing chores since I was young. Say, what's all the fuss about? Mistletoe's acting up. Mistletoe always acts up. Hmm. I honestly don't know what to do about it. Daddy, is it okay if I take your blue blanket on my vacation with Gamba? Do you know when she'll be coming to pick me up exactly? Shouldn't she be here soon, huh? Yes, you may take my blanket, my dear. And no, I don't know when your friend is going to arrive. You know what else? I am going to miss you so much. Daddy, I'll only be gone for a week. That's not long, you'll see. Oh, I just remembered. I forgot to pack my toothbrush. Gamba said that there will be lots of traveling shipping rabbits where we're going. We'll camp with them during our entire vacation. That's so neat. Hey, why isn't Poppy eating with us? Is he on vacation? Why is he allowed to eat up in the attic? Mistletoe, I thought I explained that your brother is in the middle of an experiment. He doesn't normally eat up there. You get to eat outside. That's much better, no? It's a lot more work to eat outside. Afterwards, when dinner's over, clean up. Takes so much longer because you have to walk further. And then you have to put the table away. Mistletoe, why are you in such a bad mood? I'm so glad I won't have to listen to you whine for an entire week. <laughs> It was so hot, we had to stop every hour and dunk ourselves in lakes along the way to Gula. I brought my nightie with the moon on it. I'll lend it to you. What's the name of the meadow we're going to? Hmm. Gamba? Are you listening? That was where Gamba discovered the waterfall. Oh, no. Gamba still has a crush on my brother. <gasps> Gamba called the cave a secret hiding place. We stayed there for a week. It was extraordinary. Hey! Your house keeps moving. Doesn't that mean you're kind of like snails? Doesn't that sound great? They can stop wherever and whenever they want. They can eat when they want and no chores to do. Now that's what I call true freedom. <laughs> you can put that out of your head. We actually have a lot of chores, Mistletoe. Believe me, there's a lot to do when you're living on the road. The chores are just, oh, different than the ones you do. It can't be worse than around here. Huh? Huh? Say, why don't you come and spend the week traveling with us, huh? too? Come with you? On vacation? Oh, Daddy! Say yes, say yes, please! Do say yes, Mr. Bellflower! It would be great! Oh, my. Well, why not? <laughs> Thanks! Terrific! Mistletoe's coming! I'm going on vacation! I'm going on vacation! Hooray! So much fun! See you soon. Goodbye, Daddy. I'll be good. Promise. Be sure to always listen 
to Goliath. Do you have your hat, Violet? It could get very hot. Yes, Yatsinia, she packed it. Don't worry. Goliath, go! We're out! <laughs> Jumpin' G. Willikers, please don't pout like that. You'll you'll get to go when you're a little bigger. Maybe you can go next year. It's not true. Dolly and I are not too small. We are little, but we want to be big, and that's no fun at all. You know what? Since they think we're too small, then fine. That's exactly how we'll act. Really little, even, huh? Ah! Till the body is off the ground, and when we hop, it goes up and down. you forgotten to put something away? Uh, us? Well, normally Violet and Mistletoe are the ones who put things away into the cupboards, but they're not here, so we left everything. We're much too small, see? See? I can't do it. Those potatoes were delicious. I could get used to this lifestyle. All right, I need two volunteers to go down to the river to wash up the dishes. Who wants to go? We have to wash dishes? What? Do we really have to wash the dishes? <laughs> no, of course not. The dishes just get up and walk down to the lake to wash themselves. Oh. Here, do something for a change. Why is it my turn? Why can't you go? I'm afraid of the dark. Hey, Mistletoe, can you come give us a hand? We need your help. Oh, that's too bad, sis. I've got to go do real tough work. Coming! Fine, if that's the way it's going to be, we'll leave everything. And he can take care of it when he gets back. No, no, no. When he comes back, I don't think you'll have the strength to go down to the river and do the dishes. It's time to go to sleep now, because it's going to be a full day tomorrow. But Mistletoe's not back yet, and I wanted to give him a good night kiss. Mistletoe, you're back. <laughs> Don't touch. Too sore. I had to chop wood. A ton of wood. Oh, I've never seen so many logs. When Grandpa's tired, I rub his back with lavender oil. Do you want some? Uh, mistletoe, hello? <laughs> Look at him. Chopping a few logs made him that tired? Hmm, I thought he was more rugged. He's not half as sore as he will be tomorrow.
making Dandelion's toy train. Hmm. There. Oh, I must say that a few days without mistletoes complaining is very nice. This novel is so thoroughly entertaining, I didn't even notice the time go by. The young boys must be starving. Oh. Jumpin' G. Willikers, what on earth are you two doing? What are you talking about? We're drinking our milk from our bottles. Because we're very little, you know. I'd really like to go and have a nap. But no one will rock me to sleep. Am I dreaming, or have the two of you fallen on your heads? Why can't you two be more like your brother? Have you ever seen him pull stunts like this? Have you ever seen him play a practical joke? Well, if I'm such a good son, why haven't you guys been paying any attention to me for two days? You haven't even come to see my experiments. In fact, you get completely ignored around here uh, unless you're small. Whoa! Slow down a little, Miss Nice and easy. This is an old camper, you know. It has to be driven with care. Heirloom Park. That's it for my work. I love driving this thing, Goliath. Never forget to put the security brake on each time you park. Even on a flat land, that's very important. Excellent. You're a very good driver. The life of the nomad does offer some rewards and pleasures. Mm -hmm. Hello, girls. You gather. Check this out. I parked it by myself. We're going to see Jim and Merlin practice, Grandpa. We won't be gone long. We'll see you this evening, dear. I'm going to help Seraphim dig his trailer out over on the other side of the river. Huh? Uh-oh, the wind's blowing in from the west. That's not a good sign. Look after the girls, Mistletoe. See you later. Bye, girls. Wait until you see this. Gamba, Violet, how about a little snack? And... Uh, wow, that was great! Hmm. Session. If I trained as much as they do, I'd be more talented than they are. Hey, Gamba, would you like to see my backflip handstand? At home, I'm the only one around who can do one. Oh, everybody's gone to the Weeping Willow Meadow. There's a fire eater show over there. Too bad Grandpa isn't here. He'd drive us over. Oh, yeah? Let's go! Come on! I'll take you there. What? I know how to drive the camper now. You? You can drive us there, you? You've never seen me drive the carrot cart at our place. That's true, he's a good driver. Anyway, the show's not that far away. We could drop by for a quick look and be back before dark. Hmm. The tail of the bunny is soft and round and when he hops along. Ladies, this looks familiar. Did we drive by here already? I know. I'll take a shortcut through the forest. It'll be easy. So you think that in this house, even though the young ones are too little, they're big enough to take part in big kid activities? And though the big kids are big enough to do big kid things, they want us to treat them like little kids. Is, Is that, that it? it? Well, it's simple then. Since you're such grown-up little kids, you'll do something that only the really big kids can do. Where are you taking us? We're going round in circles. Calm down. It's not my 
fault it's gotten so foggy. I can't see the road. Well, you're the one that's all foggy. Look, your map is upside down. She's right. I should have known. You don't know how to read a map. It's okay. The fog is lifting. We'll get there. Don't worry. Go inside. Go back to singing your little songs. Let me concentrate on the road. There's the meadow. There it is. I am just the best. <laughs> We've arrived. This is great. But are you sure this is the right meadow? If it's Weeping Willow Meadow, shouldn't there be Weeping Willows around? Wait a second. The fog hasn't totally lifted yet. I bet once it lifts, we'll see a bunch of weeping willows. Uh oh. I guess Goliath will be waiting for us longer than we thought. Oh, we never should have come along with you. You can't even make your bed or even cook a squash in a fire pit. So coming into the woods with you was a bad idea. Okay, Gamba. So we're stuck here, but it'll work out. He's a loser, that's all. He thinks he's so cool with his double backflips, but he can't juggle more than two carrots. I get to sleep with Daddy tonight. I get to sleep with Daddy tonight. <laughs> Good night, Ancinia. This is great. Dandelion and Periwinkle are all tucked in. We'll see if they're big enough to spend the entire night by themselves out there in the tent. <laughs> as old as mistletoe and violet to sleep under the stars. Uh, no, but I'm awfully glad the moon is shining bright, because to be honest, I don't like the dark. It's good to get to do a big kid thing, though. Right? I suppose so. It's great. Gamba said to give you this carrot biscuit. It's the last one left. Gamba is sharing with me, even though I can't do dishes, can't drive, can't juggle, and a god is law. Hey, cut it out. What she said earlier wasn't very nice, but you've got to understand. She's afraid Goliath will be angry with her. Besides, she has a big crush on you, so naturally, she was upset. She has a crush on me? Are you sure, Violet? Well, of course she does. She thinks you're tall and handsome. You get the idea. But when you wouldn't pull your own weight with the chores, she got disappointed. Gee, I didn't know girls were as complicated as that. So now what? Crush or no crush, she has a right to be disappointed. I'm a loser. Mistletoe, you may not know how to do the dishes or juggle carrots, but you're the best at playing cats with dandelion stuffed toys. And nobody can climb trees as fast as you can. Mm -hmm. And when I'm sad, only you can make me laugh. Mm -hmm. huh? Hey, where are you going? We might be stuck here because of the rain, but it shouldn't keep us from finding food. There must be fruit for picking around somewhere. You girls stay cute. <laughs> Aren't they sweet? They may wish they were grown up already, but I'm glad they're still my babies. Where's Mistletoe? What's taking so long? Don't worry, we're safe in here. Grandfather and I have lived through terrible storms, but the camper kept us safe and dry. Huh? <laughs> Are you ready? 
<laughs> hey, Mistletoe, are you gonna work all night? I promised Goliath I'd have this painted by tomorrow. None of this would have happened if it hadn't been for me, so I have to fix things. But go ahead, Jim and Merlin are going to show off their new number. Oh, I've seen Jim and Merlin's act already. They're great acrobats, but I doubt either of them could have stopped a camper in the river. Well, let's just say I'm pretty handy with a rope. Huh? You know the fire eaters we went to see? Well, they're here. Come on. Goliath said mistletoe can stop working now. No, thanks. It's too noisy over there. I really want to finish this camper by tomorrow, because we're leaving. Okay, then. I'll help. That way I can put my own personal touch on it, too. I'd rather do dishes for the rest of my life than be in love. 